I'm Art Hope, Coke, Texas, USA, beautiful downtown Coke, Texas. Uh, yes, I remember Eric Johnson. He used to be mayor of Dallas, Texas. And I don't remember what he'd done before he was mayor. But he used to, I believe, used to play the harmonica, guitar, or fiddle. And uh, yes, he's, he's been through here several times on his way back and forth to different places. How you doing? Fine, thanks. The dadgum to happened to me in Dallas the other day. Want to get some uh, film developed? You know, uh, the fish fry with uh, Ray Dean and the kids. And I went into one of these photon places, hoping I'd get my pictures back in an hour. Other than that, that's it. It should be pretty easy once we get all the lights on, and that's the biggest part. All I saw was a bunch of guys who didn't know anything about developing. All they know how to do is shoot pictures. That's Steve Moss, the director who's leading the meeting. With him is Jill Chevalier, the man who runs the camera, the cinematographer, somebody called him. Mark Lack always had his hands on the camera, poking it and jacking with all the knobs. He's the assistant cameraman. Brad Williams just yelled at everybody and played unit production manager. Dean Walton was the producer and Jordan Kaiser gaffed. That's Rollo, the artist. He's in charge of uh, all the animation. Now this is a man named Eric Johnson. He's from Austin, a noteworthy person, I presume. I don't believe I'm too familiar with his music. It was a Sunday night in photon clothes and I still didn't have my prints. Well, they started running everybody off and preparing for their film shoot that was to be shot in Dallas and Austin. The reason I chose photon for Eric Johnson's video was because it's a futuristic game laser tag. The reason I chose photon for Eric Johnson's video is it's a laser tag game using lasers Photon has a unique futuristic look and with what? The reason I chose Photon. No, the reason he chose Photon to shoot the music video zap is because of the futuristic look and the lasers. The reason why he's on the old 66 bridge telling you this beats the hell out of me. <laughs> the first film that had to be shot were the scenes where the futuristic warriors would run through Photon firing at everybody. It was a nightmare working the camera inside the tight quarters at Photon, and they kept wanting more fog, more fog. More fog, 10 seconds. Let's bring a, let's get a little smoke in here. Cut! Cut! Ready for another take. Ready, go, Steve. Yeah. Faster, faster, faster. Shooting at Photon was a challenge for the crew. We had to shoot the warriors in cramped quarters, but we had to make it look like a futuristic war was going on. Action. Things are going to cut. That's it. That's good. All the Photon Warrior stuff would be going on behind the band while they were playing. About a dozen warriors, played by Photon regulars, would be firing at one another behind the band, and every step they took had to be choreographed. I'll call it out this time. From Photon, we went to Bill Stokes Studios. There, we were to take Eric Johnson and put him in front of a blue screen to key 60s effects during his lead guitar break. Well, basically, what we're doing is set up a uh, seven and a half by 10 foot rear projection screen. And we're going to shoot uh, some images on it. Okay, that ought to do it. Uh, going to be using uh, an effect called a Solar 250. They're English projectors. This is used like a wide range of different type projection effects, which you can't find in the States anymore. So what happens is, as it runs through the pump and back out again, it blows bubbles up in between it. So it gives you that old 60s psychedelic uh, look. Uh, well, I bought them uh, basically from uh, in California, from uh, part of the old Iron Butterfly show. Imagine a man who makes a living doing that. Well, that means just start the song from scratch. <laughs> OK, we're ready. That's just my song. I just can't stand it any longer. Here we go. Bradley? Bradley? Looks fine. Five, six. Ready, Joe? Yes. Okay, we're starting at the beginning. Yeah. Good. Okay, good. 
Do you see a lot of difference in his face from his neck being light and tan? Remember, you're in front of millions of people. This is the Ed Sullivan Show. You just followed Topo Gijo. Oh, okay. We're going to pull this one off because you know why? You know who you are this time? Uh, I'm Topo Gijo. You are Topo Gijo. Okay. No, how about... You're Ralph the Dancing Clown. Playback. Okay, that's a take. Oh, really good. It looked good. I have to cut something, and I don't know. It's like there was some. Big... Yeah, I'll tell you one damn thing. I was in the backyard. Something fell off a tree. I ate it. I felt pretty bad. The first and last shots were to be shot aboard Eric's tour bus, but Eric doesn't have a tour bus, so naturally one had to be brought in all the way from Lubbock. They call them road houses. You know, Ray Dean and I could live in that thing for months. On the storyboard, it's night. Now, are you changing yeah, that, or? the screen out with the... Uh, the, the, the storyboard, it's uh, night. It's good light level in here. This old, I mean, you know. I'll tell you, this, this thing came down from the sky. It was green, yellow, and blue. Said, I won't hurt you none, and beam me up. I don't know what happened. You'll see the finished product here in a second. It makes no sense to me, with all that loud music and all that work just for a three-minute film. They say it'll all make sense, though, once you see the video with, with all the special effects and the animation done. I guess it'll be pretty good. Oh, by the way, here are the pictures I got back. Here's that laser place in Austin. I wanted, I wanted to go there, but they wouldn't let me. said it might get a hole burn in me. And there, there's Eric. I wonder what happened to my pictures. Suppose they'll show up in that video? Mark Larrick, I'm the camera assistant, and this is my dark room. This is where I spend most of my time. And I make sure I have everything categorized so I know it by feel and touch, so I don't have to go searching. Now, I take this film on this side, and I put it in the mags, and I make sure to put it in the cans to send it to the lab, or is it on this side? No. Yeah. I take this stuff, and I put it in the mags, and I put the mags in the camera. They run through, then I take them out and put them in the Tell you what, I got bit by a dog. But feel pretty damn good, man. <laughs> <laughs> but you want him to change?